we do for a typical fistula gram is the patient comes in, they lie down on their backs on our table, they put their arm out on the table. Um, we use an ultrasound machine to insert a small catheter into the fistula and we inject uh, dye, which under a live x-ray like this allows us to see the fistula. And what we're looking for are areas that are narrowed or blocked, but our job is to clean up that circuit and make sure that the blood's easily going through it at a high speed. He had to go in and clean it out and <laughs> such. Believe it or not, I tell my friends that I had to have it rotor rooted <laughs> <laughs> Most fistula work is fairly short. We're able to keep the patients awake. Um, there's a lot of safety advantages uh, to not having to induce general anesthesia. It's one of those surgeries where you're awake while they do it. We use what's called conscious sedation or moderate sedation. And when someone has conscious sedation or moderate sedation, they can answer questions, you can talk to them, but they should be in a very relaxed state. Dr. Khan made sure that if if he was doing something and I like flinched or went, ooh, he made sure he stopped and put more medication in to numb it so that I wasn't in any pain. Basically, I came in and I was gone the same day. I often tell my fistula patients having a fistula is like owning a car. They need maintenance. They do periodically re-narrow, but that's what we're here. We get our, our patients in very quickly. We try to treat everyone like family. I think one of the things patients like about coming here is they know they can just call, be seen, um, you know, quickly and get their problem taken care of. He is very, very great for taking care of his patients. When you look at work uh, such as having a fistulogram, it's really conducive to help patient. You know, when I used to work in the hospital and do fistulograms, virtually never admit those patients. It's done as an outpatient. And I think when you look at an office like ours, um, you know, we've got a parking lot you're 10 feet from the door, um, you know, there's efficiencies that come with being a small office. Uh, I think there's a very personal nature to the care you get in a small office. We actually know all of our patients, we know their names, we see them, we recognize their faces, and I think there's more of a family feel. You don't get lost in, in the masses, so to speak. I've been here twice for this same surgery. Um, both times, the day after the surgery, Dr. Khan himself called me. It came up as his office. I went, uh-oh, what, what happened? Maybe there's a problem. And I answered the phone and it was him and I was in shock like, this is the doctor calling me? I call all of my patients after the procedure. I try to religiously make sure no matter how small or how big the procedure is. Um, I mean, I think it's a nice personal touch, but I really just do it because I like to be a part of my patients' lives and know what's going on. And if there is a problem, I want to be the first one to know. I had no no problems, no hassles, right? Which is something you want when you're going through any type of a surgical procedure. I would recommend his office to anyone who had to have a procedure.